Assalamu alaikum beautiful students here i am uh, with a new lesson for the students of 11th class uh, the lesson is titled the price of flowers uh, written by prabhat kumar mukhopadhyay components of the lecture are here life and works of the writer uh, title of the chapter summary of the chapter theme glossary textual questions first of all we will uh, discuss here life and works of prabhat kumar mukhopadhyay uh, prabhat kumar mukhopadhyay was a poet novelist and short story writer he was uh, born in bengal in nine, uh, in 1873 uh, he studied at jamalpur high school did a uh, bachelor of education that means ba in patna college uh, studied law in darjeeling rangpur and gaya uh, from 1904 uh, to 1916 in 1916 he became a professor at the university of calcutta and worked there till he died in uh 1932 he wrote 14 novels and 100 short stories uh, his pseudonyms were sri jano r chandra sharma shrimati radha mani uh he is read in india and bangladesh his books are arati pratima garib swami and his famous short stories are the price of flowers the muscular son in law bilashini title of the price of flowers means why this chapter has been titled the price of flowers well it is a bit confusing but i have tried my level best to, to simplify it uh so have patience and listen to me carefully literally speaking the title the price of flowers means the cost or value or worth of flowers in the chapter it is just one shilling however different flowers of different colors symbolize different things in different cultures a red rose symbolizes love and a white rose symbolizes peace in the short story a poor british girl maggie gives the narrator mr gupta a hard earned shilling to buy flowers with and lay them on the grave of her dead brother frank who was buried somewhere in british india somewhere in british india though a shilling seems a tiny sum yet it was a huge sum for a teenage poor girl maggie who had to economically support herself as well as her sick mom in the absence of her brother taking compassion at poor maggie mr gupta for the split of a second feels like returning the shilling to her soon he realizes that great peace can come to maggie after making that great sacrifice for her dead brother and he takes the shilling from her therefore the price of flowers is not just one shilling it is much more if we take the feelings love and affection of little maggie for her dead brother into consideration this was the title explained next we have the summary of the chapter titled the price of flowers a british teenage girl happens to see an indian in a veg restaurant somewhere in london she wants to talk to him but avoids out of shyness it is here out of shyness out of shyness done 
but uh, out of shyness the indian named mr gupta takes the initiative and succeeds in befriending the british girl he comes to know that her name is maggie she has a sick mom at home and her only brother frank is a british soldier posted in india her mom has a few misconceptions about india being a land of diseases bad hygiene and dangerous animals she and her mom are also superstitious believing that a ring sent by frank from india can show them past and future she invited mr gupta home a few times to look into the indian ring and lied to her mom that frank was doing all right in india being kind and gentle in nature mr gupta complies however the lie is exposed very soon frank is reported to have died and mr gupta gives up visiting the family of maggie out of shyness on his last day in london maggie and her mum pay a visit to him and give him a shilling to buy flowers for the grave of frank buried in india mr gupta accepts the shilling reluctantly for the pleasure of poor maggie this was the summary next you have the theme of the price of flowers the story illustrates the good nature and compassion of indians a true indian can't see anyone in pain and troubles he can go to any extreme to help and support his fellow human beings even if they be his enemies frank was an imperial soldier posted to torment indians while his suffering family back in london was helped and supported by an indian named mr gupta this is the magnificent example of humanity compassion and large heartedness of the people living in india glossary startled it means shocked pleading means appealing disarmed means impressed latchkey means front door key festivity means pleasure dresser means cupboard fever is means diseases hard up means short of money superstition means false faith toil means hard work now textual questions first textual question is why do you think the girl looked at the narrator with a startled air when the cashier told the girl that the narrator was from india she looked at him with a startled air she couldn't believe her eyes that she was looking at an indian actually she had been desperately looking for an indian who could go with her to her home to meet her mom question number 2 why was the narrator curious to know about the girl why did he go back to the same restaurant on the following saturday the narrator was curious to know about the girl because she was looking at him suspiciously at a public wedge restaurant he went back to the same restaurant on the following saturday to meet her why did the narrator agree to accompany the girl to her house give two reasons the narrator agreed to accompany the girl to her house because he wanted to meet her sick mom and know more about their family question for this poor unsophisticated girl had defeated me in which way had she defeated the narrator the sense of hygiene of the girl impressed and the sense of hygiene of the girl impressed the narrator and he felt defeated because she preferred a clean and crowded route to unclean and less crowded route on her way to home question 5 saturday night is a time of festivity in poor neighborhoods why what were the festivities that took place on this day the poor people get their salaries on saturday in the area where maggie lives therefore they do shopping on that day and buy some yummy things to eat All sorts of things are sold from countless lighted pushcarts. Maggie's mom also sells cakes on Saturday on a pushcart to make her living. Question six is, why was Mrs. Clifford so worried about her son being in India? Mrs. Clifford was very worried about her son being in India because she had heard that India was not a safe country. It was a land of snakes, tigers, and fevers. Maggie show Mr Gupta the ring why was Maggie's mother eager to show Mr uh, show the ring to Mr Gupta 
Maggie's mother was eager to show the ring to Mr. Gupta because the ring was sent by Frank from India and she believed that Mr. Gupta could see Frank in the crystal of the ring. She wanted to know if her son was alright in India. Actually, she was a superstitious lady and believed that the ring was able to show past and future. Question 8 is, why did Maggie wrote a postcard to Mr. Gupta? Why did he decide to take some money with him when he went to meet her? Maggie wrote a postcard to Mr. Gupta saying that her mom was very ill. She was not able to go to work for a week and it would be very kind of him if he visited them. He decided to take some money with him when he went to meet them because he thought that they might be in need of money. Question 9 is, I wish you to go to Lambeth to say goodbye to Maggie and her mother. But the family was in mourning. Why was the family in mourning? Why was the narrator hesitant to visit them? The family was in mourning because Frank, who was posted in India, was reported to have been killed. The narrator was hesitant to visit them because he had lied to them that he had seen Frank alive in the crystal of the ring days after Frank had actually been killed. Why did Mr. Gupta decide to write a letter informing Maggie and the mother of his departure to India and not go and tell them personally? Mr. Gupta decided to write a letter informing Maggie and the mother of his departure to India and not go and tell them personally because he could not face them after lying to them that he had seen Frank alive in the crystal of the ring days after he had actually been killed. Why did Maggie come to meet Mr. Gupta? What did she give him? On his last day in London, Maggie came to Mr. Gupta to wish him goodbye. She also gave him a shilling to buy flowers with and lay them on Frank's grave. Do you think Mr. Gupta was right in accepting the shilling from Maggie? Why? Yes, Mr. Gupta was right in accepting the shilling from Maggie because it would give her pleasure. He had no right to deny her the pleasure which would come to her by spending a shilling for the love of her dead brother. Wish you all the best.